Everybody, welcome back to Contest to Speed Tier 3. We find us in some different surroundings this evening. We've started a couple of minutes early because uh, we've got a couple of things to tell you. My name is Dan, I'll be your commentator for this evening as normal. We'll be jumping into the race in just a few minutes, but before that, sat alongside me as always. We're back after, is it three weeks away, Matt? Uh, yeah, yeah be, it's, it's three, three races. races. Three races. Yeah, two races. races. Two races. Mm -hmm. two races. Yeah. But we're back yeah, together. Um, but yeah, we have a couple of things to to tell you all. Um, yeah, first of all, should we get the nice things out of the way first? We'll do the nice yeah, things. Go. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. So tonight we have the Belgian Grand Prix, round 19 of season four. Um, it's quite well. It's poetic almost because Belgium, of course, with tier three in season two was the first race that me and Matt commentated together. It was the first race that this tier ran as an official tier. Um, but it also, tonight, marks the 50th Tier 3 race. Woo! Yeah! yeah! Numbers and stats and things, so... We, we only we just, just worked that out. out. You Three say we. You, you before, worked that out. out a, couple, a couple of minutes before we were like, ah, actually. actually. Mm -hmm. I knew we were close. Yeah. But, uh, we, we are on it tonight. This is race number 50. Um, so we'll be celebrating that a little bit as we go. <coughs> so, some of the other good news tonight. McLaren, I believe, have won the Constructors' Championship. That was confirmed yes. after stewarding reviews for last week. So congratulations to Cookie and to Rosa for that. Those two still battling out for the driver's title cup, so no love lost just yet. Uh, what else are we going for? Uh, we'll do housekeeping, shall we? Missing drivers yes. for the evening. Um, Timo has sent in an absence. He is unavailable for tonight. So he says, T "Is Titchy here? Well, has he made it in?" But I don't know. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's made, he's it, made it in. Curve, good, so good. good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Ricky is the other one uh, who I think is arriving late tonight. So yeah, he's qualifying. Hopefully, he'll be <laughs> yeah. back. So Ricky will be doing the last to first challenge once we get going in a few minutes time right so now we'll move driver on to changes. the driver changes yes season See? 5 is fast approaching no no, no driver, driver changes, changes for this, this evening, evening. oh for this evening for this evening who have we got changing for this evening this is something I don't know I thought it was something for this evening no 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 I was, I was mistaken you've been mis worry, you've been ill informed oh, been misled completely. Mm. But season five is upon us, or will be very shortly. We've got uh, three races, including tonight, left in season four. So we will be rejigging some of the driver lineups and uh, the tiers that those drivers are in, just to keep things a little bit fresh, to keep things tasty. Uh, yeah, to re rebalance everything and make sure that everyone is able to race and be competitive and have a good time so those will be going up on our Twitter and Instagram pages very soon those official lineups they're, they're li just being finalized now in terms of the team compositions um, so you'll be able to check those out pretty quickly the big news though is the commentary teams and the drivers thereof. So I've got a tissue next to I know, I've got a whole box. So next season, Matt and myself will be dropping down into tier three. No! Uh, we'll be joining the riffraff that we've commentated on all this time. But fear not, everybody, because you'll be getting back some of the. Uh, some of the league's greatest commentators. The dynamic duo. The dynamic duo of Thomas and Lewis will be taking over Tier 3 commentary. And it, me and Matt will not be going away forever and permanently. We'll be moving on to do Tier 2. So our old tier, we will be commentating on. So now looking at absolutely slightly. Yes, we so can. We... That was the plan. Mm, obviously, obviously. Um, so you've got three races of Tier 3 left with uh, with us two to enjoy so if 
if you're feeling generous and you're feeling slightly tearful and forlorn at us going away in a couple of weeks time you, you can do us all a favour head over to YouTube now so that's uh, youtube.com forward slash contest of speed make sure you hit subscribe we're trying to hit the thousand subscriber mark likes everything yeah like the videos and all of that stuff then come back here or you could wait until afterwards or if you're watching on a computer open two tabs multitask yeah thing. yeah I know I suck at it but you know some people are good then when you come back here make sure you follow our twitch channel and you get a notification every time we go live uh, we've got a message from blades though going back to the business at hand and he says that it's dry all the way bone oh dry all gosh. the way by the look of things uh, just just something you know what that means don't you yep we're gonna get it, it tomorrow it just, it just seems to be our tier honestly tier 2 I think has had the am I right in saying the yeah. most race evenings where we've had some yeah, we've had rain. yeah, we've Moisture. had the most the most rain affected uh, uh, races. Both this season and in every other, I believe. Mexico right. tier two. Mexico Always tier running. two, classic. Always running. Mm -hmm. So the two Mercedes are out early here. Thomas, the first man on the move. They came out together, so I would imagine there'll be a little bit of a toe going on if they can time that right. I mean, we've, we've, we've seen, seen it many times this season, so I'm not yeah, surprised. Yeah, we have. Well, they seem to be quite far away from each other, so... Yeah, they do. Ah, oh, they line up probably for the coming strike. Uh, both dry, Ricky, according to Blades. I'm going to have to reload the stream because I've got no comment section. Ooh! Up to 18 viewers. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy yourselves while you're here. If you are new, make sure you hit follow. And then once the stream's finished, head over to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe. We're trying to hit the thousand subscriber mark. Basically, do all the good stuff. Yes, all the stuff that everyone you watch on the internet asks you to do, we'd like you to do the same, please. And the Mercedes boys look like they timed this tell quite well. So I get just in range, not far enough behind to lose it, but not close enough to take it away. Although, having said that, Thomas went purple in sector one. I imagine that is a full purple sector, considering he's the first man out. Whether Sargate beat it, I'm not sure. No, but I think everyone's just hopefully hoping they get through Eau Rouge just once. Yeah, so Eau Rouge just, uh, and Radion to get through, and then pull on. If you can get through them, a couple of corners, fine. You should be golden. Oh, well, that's, that's an interesting an point we've mentioned, Tor. Mm hmm. That's, that's, that's come, come up. up. To much discussion this week. Yes, it has. As, as people don't know, if you click the inside of pull, the first bit, the car tends to do the old the spinny roundy thing. I don't know if anyone's you know the spinny roundy thing. Well, yeah, that happens. Um, to some extent, you could get beached depending on how you spin your car. Yes. Drivers have been informed they can reset to track, which is usually unheard of. It's against the law. Yes, but, uh, assuming they have evidence of that, then they can do such a thing. Yeah, it's uh, Abar, it's 760 we need. <laughs> it's a lofty target we're aiming for, I appreciate that, but you know, if you don't. if you don't aim high. I'm, I'm sure we're going to mention this probably in an end of season review or in or mm -hmm. some stage, but you think about it, we're approaching season five, and even someone like Jordan, who's been here since 
what, season one, I think Jordan has? Yeah, yeah. He was just like, it's just crazy how much this is just like, this league in particular is blowing up. Yeah. It's just actually sustained in terms of that growth as well. Yeah. You know, and it's, um, it, I mean, it's grown since we got here. Yeah, we, my first race was a tier two race in season two, and we had 12 drivers in Australia, and now we're basically got three tiers running. Uh, yeah, well, we have three tiers running for the rest of this season. It, it, officially, we have 80 drivers. Yeah. Um, tier one obviously has its has its downsides but in terms of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a unique um, way of running things. Mhm. Mm but uh, tier two, tier three, and AM one are brilliant, and the attendance is great. So. Oh, Steve's done it. Steve's done it at Puon. He clipped the curb on the inside. Nearly did a Giovinazzi. Managed to claw it back. Where did you go? He's still, his lap's going to count as well, so he might as well put it in as a banker just in case. Although, no, he's backed out of it, I think. Um, let's see who's out. Pure Blaze, he's out on a lap at the moment. On his out lap, I mean. So we'll see what he can do. Dan Hilton's just run wide, that's in better day, Dan. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I was talking to players earlier on today. He's been talking a bit of a big game this week uh, about his ability through Erosion Radion. So I'm going to ride on board with him when we get uh, to start the lap, and he'll do our is weekly on board run. Is that to make sure that he's taking it flat out? That's he's the one. Like he mentioned that this week. Mm. Take it flat out. Oh, really? So, yeah, so here we go down to turn one. Nice tight hairpin right hander. We can take a couple of different lines without affecting your loss of time too much. Here we come down to the fateful triple section of corners. Blades left, right, and left. Keeps his foot planted down. DRS opens. We go down the camel straight towards the chicane at the far end. Ken stepping out a little bit, but he controls it through the chicane, misses the apex, that'll sort of lose him some time. Was purple through sector one. Uh, I don't know if that's his personal best or overall session. Sometimes does that, but yeah. we'll crack on. Here we go, there's the next tricky corner to circumnavigate. Go down to poo on. It lees off on entry, but brings it round well. I think it looks like he's struggling a little bit with the front end and getting it turned in. Either that or he's got oversteer. That car doesn't look yeah, well balanced at the moment. It? No. Not in the way he wants it to, anyway. Blades oh, is just... Oh, Titchi's lost it! Uh, Titchi's gone! Titchi's gone! He started that and he, uh, well. Is that the way? Written off, really. Yeah. We'll soon see. Blade's coming through now. He'll finish his lap and puts himself into P9, just behind his teammate. Um, and we'll jump across to Forza Freddo and see if we can spot Titchy's car. It'll be on the right-hand side, right, and it's just been oh, cleared. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, that's KV. KV. Uh, He's waiting yeah. for people. Uh, uh, at the uh, chicane at the, at the end of the Camel Strait. Yeah. Very awkward place to be uh, sitting in. Yeah. Titchy will be disappointed. He was looking forward to this week. Um, after the disappointment of Aston Villa losing the cup final yesterday, he wanted to get himself down and a good result here just to try and lift his spirit slightly. That's not the way to start his week. Well, he, he apparently had, a, he had an amazing weekend anyway. Yeah. Not like he could remember much, but you know. It's going to be a one stop, I'm afraid, this evening. Yeah, barring any safety cars, which are likely with Orusion Radion being such tricky customers in terms of cornering. So I think we may see a two stop, a soft, medium, soft, or a medium, soft, soft. 
No, I'm, I think the guys. Uh, Kavey's backed out of this lap here. Unless he's going into one. No, he's on his out lap. He's going into one. We'll watch Kavey through our rouge. And then I'll jump back to broadcast cameras. Here we go. A ruse the little left hander, ready on to the right. Kavy's flat out as well. Wow, Thomas Strong's really wild. Ragging the Mercedes around. Yeah. The three championship challengers, the only men into the 43s at the moment. Thomas and Rose are both marginally up on their laps. Yeah, Cookie, I think, is... Invalidated. Ah, so he'll be coming in. Thomas has come in. So obviously, mate, you obviously lost time running wide. Mm. KV runs wide at Puon, but the lap stays valid. Uh, that's one of the Hasses getting out of the way of a couple of cars in Sector 2. He'll have a little while to wait, I think. Trying to stop there too, but I'm just going to disqualify if you're not careful. And yeah, Rosa goes go. pole! Yeah, that two tenths clear of the Mercedes. Exactly about that as well. the, little, the little weave afterwards. Good man. Uh, Falls of Fredo disqualified for going the wrong way. He must have spun it, maybe. I'm not going to ask questions. No. He was outside the top ten with his time, so he will get three choice of tyres. Oh, um, Rosa gained four and a half tenths in the last sector alone. Yeah, KV didn't improve there. Saya so, yeah, is not on the lap. He's just put himself into the 43s, though. He's uh, yep. joined his teammate in the McLaren sandwich. Let's have a look at Stumpy. He's just over a tenth up on his previous time. Not been particularly confident this week in the Alpha Camp. Um, from uh, Stumpy's point of view, anyway. Titchy's been doing pretty good. Stumpy's not confident around the track, but we'll see how he gets on. Um, he's cruising round. There's a Ferrari of KV coming behind him on his in lap. And then there's a racing point of Remcon in behind him. Is he coming in as well? No, he's on a push. We'll stay with the Dutchman. Yeah, Remcon is the only one on a lap at the moment. Everyone else seems to be uh, on an in lap. Kelsasdag went up to eight. Yeah, good lap from him. 44.6. Remcon in coming up towards the sector two split. Let's see how he's doing. He's quarter of a second up, which at the moment would put him right into P5, just ahead of KV. He needs a couple more tenths to get himself into that battle for pole. That is Millsy. Yeah, letting uh, Thomas through, I think. Rem Conan neatly negotiates the bus stop chicane. Powers for the line. Puts himself into fifth. Lost a little bit of time in that third sector. And his teammate Ricky has joined. He won't be able to set a lap time, but he will start 16th. It's kind of a bit congested out there. In terms of the time zone. Yeah. It's when you've got clusters of people, haven't you? Mm hmm. I mean, with the exception of the front two, you've got the gap between Sygate and KV. Oh. So third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in less than a tenth. Well, yeah, less than a tenth. Yeah, that's true, but I'm expecting that our place. Oh, Remcon, 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 Remcon in. There is a qualifying ban coming your way, my friend. Oh, I know what he's done. I'm not even going to. Dun, 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 the same idea. Yeah, it's just going to be the same Right, See, we didn't think about mentioning that this week because we didn't think anyone was going to do it. Well, it's, it, it's the same at every track. 
To be fair though, we do say just don't get caught, and he was taking the risk. He got caught. Penalty coming his way. I'm going to How are you going to prove it? Uh, stream. Yeah. It's always the one. That's the one. Right, Cook is just starting another lap, so I'm expecting the gap to be breached between himself and Thomas. Yes. So who's that, Cook? Are you say just starting a lap? Yep. We'll go on board with our championship leader. 27 point lead for Cookie. And he's a two tenths up on his previous time, which would put him into P3 Mozart, just about. No, he would go behind Mozza at the moment. Mozza. A dark horse. Very much so. Very quick. And we'll see what he can do it, when it comes to the race. Cookie runs wide at Puon, keeps the lap valid. Thomas, Thomas improves. improves. Oh, gonna be He's on an out lap though, is uh, Rosa, so yeah. he can he can help if he can get out of the way of his teammate. Or is he going to give him a toe down the uh, the back straight towards Blanchimont? He is. McLaren's oh. working well together here. Ethan will get out of the way and does. That will have given Cookie that little margin that he needs. Just the bus stop chicane now to go. And then if those two guys work together well, he can give Rosa the toe down the uh, down the Camel straight. Here comes Cookie. Cookie goes fastest oh, by eight thousandths of a second to Thomas. So now let's jump across to his teammate, Rosa, just starting a lap on his run for pole. The little toe was enough. It certainly was, and Cookie's bolted though. He doesn't want his teammate to get it. The championship fight is alive and kicking between these two. Cookie with the 27 point lead. Rosa looking Stay. to get. Yeah, although, actually, no, I think Cookie's backed off to try and get, get him in range. So it would have been snaky behaviour highest order. Well, they are competitors. And Cookie gets out of the way of his teammate. Uh, we've got a slow-moving Haas down on towards the end of the lap. Is that Connell. A, is that Connell. He's back. He's slowing down. He's going to go again. He's made a mistake. Okay. We'll have a look who will more than likely be the last man to cross. We've got one of the Mercedes out on a lap. I think that's Sygate. I've seen as Thomas finish recently. Yeah. And he, yep, yeah, so Thomas is in. Sygate on a lap. Trying to keep an eye on Sygate and KV for you. Good man. That's Cookie getting out of the way of KV. Rosa now to the sector two split. He's up on his time. He's on. He's on track for provisional pole. It's the fastest sector two of anybody so far tonight. Oh, KV's running, running ragged, ragged, but he's three, three temps, temps up. Three temps for KV puts him into P5. It's not going to be enough at the moment. Rosa, two corners to go. The bus stop chicane is all that stands between him and pole position. Takes it well. Like Powers for the on. line. Here we go. Can he do it? Yes, he can. 143.2. He smashes it into pole position, but it's not over yet. Sygate's still in the KV. fight. 43.8. There we go. Yep. KV up to fifth. Sygate now the man to beat. He's not improved. She's had an absolute... Storm in well, he's going to finish the lap. Oh, he's got DRS failure. Oh, no. DRS oh. failure. That's so unlucky for him. And Connell now, the only man who can put a stop to it. He's three and a half tenths up at the moment. That's through the first two sectors. He might be able to improve a little bit more and mm, probably not enough to challenge for first. He's got to cut a second and a half off for that. But he should be able to get himself into the top 10. Here we go. Goes P9. Knocks Kelsesvag down to 11th. And Steve into 10th. That is tight. Yeah, that is tight. Great right, stuff. But it's... Rosa on pole from the man he's chasing. Eat the cookie in second place. 
And then the man chasing the pair of them, Thomas, in third. Mozzie, your outside bet for the race victory in P4 and KV in P5. So we have the, the prime contenders, first, second, third, which is mm -hmm. what we want. We've then got that cluster from fourth down to tenth, and that's going to be very interesting with the likes of Raycon and Tichy, I would say, massively out of position. Yeah, and I think Kelsey Vargo will have a good start as well and push into that group. Um, and don't forget, there's Ricky. Yeah. Ricky to push through. It's always a possibility. Fourth, I would, just, I would say we're not going to rule out anyone else getting a podium, but fourth place is going to be very, uh, very, very competitive. It's going to be tasty, isn't it? So, 33 viewers on stream. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you're enjoying yourselves this evening. If, uh, if you're new around here, make sure you hit follow on Twitch so that you're notified whenever we go live and streams any races and you can also do us the amazing favour of going over to our YouTube channel that's youtube.com forward slash contest at speed and hitting subscribe we're aiming to get to the thousand subscriber mark very soon um, as much as we are quite a long way away but, uh, all the help you can give us is appreciated hey, it's goals and aspirations that's, that's, that's what it is. That's, that's the one. Do you know there's a there's a um Oh Ramcon. Oh, oh, wow. Mm. So he's gonna have a penalty point and Well we'll see if it's we'll see what was said in the chats because obviously I'm not in them at the moment. I'm doing my commentary thing. Oh. In here by now. Apparently it's yeah, very it's sunny. sunny. Thank mm -hmm. you. Chief weather, weather reporter Blades, thank you for that. Right, so let's have a look at the tyres then at the start of this race. All the guys in the top ten of course have to qualify have to start rather on the tyres they qualified on. And those are all soft tyres. So outside the top ten we have Kelstavarg and Blades on the medium tyres. Both Williams of Millsies and Dan Hilton on the soft tyre. Titchy on the mediums. Raycon on the softs, Forza Fredo on the mediums, and Ricky on the soft tyre starting at the back. So we make our way round this formation lap. Just going to point out 18 drivers on the grid. This is probably the big, one of the bigger grids on we've had this season. It certainly is. Timo, the only man missing tonight. Justin has. Uh, stepped away for the remainder of the season due to work commitments but he'll be back for season five by all accounts Mitch is predicting contact between the McLarens early on well the constructors is tied up so every man for himself yeah Alp saying cookie to lead after sector one any predictions you've got guys all 30 of you make sure you get them in the chat now Ross is going to be under the cosh the first couple of laps. I think you're right, but he's he's looked mighty in Sector 2. So, he's, if he can hold got, it... Yeah, he's got to use that Sector 2, hasn't he, just to get outside that one second. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he can hold it through the first sector and then into the second lap, then I think we he could be okay. Assuming he's not burned his tyres up too much with that extra downforce. Safety car predictions, please. Mm, how many safety cars do you reckon? Many. Uh, I'm going to go with a safety car and two VSCs. Safety car and two VSCs. I'm going to go two safety cars and one VSC, I think. Alright, two spells in the chat. He says Blades for P8, and he says Ricky will be in the pit lane on lap one. Wouldn't put it past him. No, anything can happen here at Spa. So. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's change stats to position change. Let's check the camera. There we go. Right on board with 
Mm -hmm. We are ready to go racing in Belgium. The lights go red, they go out, we wait because, you know, glitch every week. Away they go here in Spa. We've got a Red Bull at the back making a great start, getting away from two drivers. But Rosa holds it into turn one. Thomas is challenging Cookie and takes it up into second place. KV and Moza side by side. There's a Haas running wide at the back there. I didn't see who that was. Rosa's held it. Cookie's managed to defend from Thomas, but now we'll be looking to attack his teammate as we go down towards the Kemmel straight. We're all clean so far through lap one. Just about. Yep, they've all made it up a rouge clean. Ros has held it through sector one. Thomas is challenging Cookie. He's going to go for it on the brakes. Can he make it stick? He can. He can. Great move from Thomas. He's kept second place there from Cookie with some great late braking. But Cookie's fighting back and goes around. Actually, I think Thomas has led him back through there. Maybe for running wide on the exit. If he does, that's good sportsmanship from the Dutchman in the Mercedes but it allows Rosa to get outside of a second already he's pushing hard on this opening lap not too many place movements to talk about so far Ricky the big man on the move four places gained Stumpy down three and Dan Hilton down three Dan Hilton had a awful start just bogged down yeah I think that was uh, why we saw Raidcon dive into the uh, to his left hand side oh and uh, oh, Blaze has run wide into the gravel he has car looks ok though yeah he said it's yep the car looks ok the thing is him being on the medium tyre gives him the best strategy advantage should the safety car come out so he just needs to hang in there for now Muzza, meanwhile, closing in on this leading group and dragging KV and Sygate with him. We're going to have a big DRS train at the moment because they're all still within a second of one another. You have to go all the way down to Raycon in P15 before you find someone outside of DRS range. Having said that, Connell looks like Stop. he might... Yeah. Connell's just managed to make his way through. Are we going to see any moves? Down the camel straight, KV. Looks like he might be going for his namesake in front of him. Oh no, Blaze has hit the wall. Blaze is gone. Is he alright? He's, uh, he's okay. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's front wing damage on the Haas, but he's still in the race. Keep your head together, lad. You've got this. <coughs> kicked up a lot of dust there. Out of turn seven. And we're starting to see some of the train makers appear and at the moment it looks like Remconin, Steve and Connell love a train mm -hmm. Millsy's eyeing up oh, actually that's Ricky just coming through yeah it's the Renault's are ganging up on the hats uh, mm. and the Alpha Titchy looking to get in on the act as well Millsy runs wide in defence will have the inside line but Titchy has the drive and the grip Makes it through. Raidcon and Forza Fredo now eyeing up the Williams as well. Gassersberg looking at the back of Stumpy's Alfa Romeo. Oh no, we've lost one. Steve! Steve's gone! Steve went. Uh, Blanchimon, he clipped the curb on the inside. That's the full front wow. wing gone on that Red Bull. VFC? Anyone? No, he was clear off the track, so we should be good. There might be a little bit of debris, but... Of course, in true workman-like fashion, that will be cleared by the time the cars come back round again. And we oh, definitely no. now have two... Oh, the red, no, don't do it! Ah! Oh! Kelsey has gone awful tax lap into the wall the other side. Don't reverse. Oh, he needs to be careful. Spin that car around. Yeah, it was just. Kelsey's Varg is good to go. Again, still in the race. Has DRS actually. Well, yeah, he was. Uh, he was right in front of Ricky, but behind Stumpy. Mm. Got a maxed tax lap Yeah, and you can start to see now the two 
groups of cars forming. Actually, three groups. Cavey's uh, dropped away uh, with his battle with Muzzer, but he's got through. Oh my word, is that three in Thomas's and down to zero ERS? Well, what's going on? The lad's been learning. Oh, the look of things. Ricky going around the outside of Stumpy. Great move. Oh, Stewart! The two friends battling hard and uh, Stumpy makes it easy for his teammate to slide up the inside who doesn't give him any space on the exit how oh, do you like them apples you do your teammate a favour and he puts you in the gravel and that's left Stumpy vulnerable now to uh, oh, Raycon taking to the grass Forza Fredo pushing after Stumpy I tell you what's got that end of season feeling yeah Ready. Guys we are just here. I oh, know. It's going to be a classic. Stumpy, five seconds for exceeding track limits at the bus stop. Really? We'll see what uh, he can send that in and have it looked at. Of course, we'll see what it uh, what it shows. Uh, KV in P4 looks like he's in a bit of no man's land at the minute. He needs to try and bridge the gap to the leaders, but he's got no one to help him. Mozza dropping away. Coach Sog's in again. is under the coach. Who is that? That is... Uh, B11A Fusions, welcome. Welcome, hello, nice to have you with us. If you're new, make sure you hit uh, follow on Twitch. And... Oh, Gone. Sorry. And as I've been saying all night, and I know everyone who normally watches will be bored senseless of this, oh, if you can head over to our... Head over to our YouTube channel and uh, subscribe there because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. That would be most appreciated. Sorry, I was about to mention Dan Hill and Ross at the top of the hill. Did he? Oh dear. Yeah, Is he... But he's okay. I think he's just mm, probably need a new change of overall. Yeah. It's Remcon in now, closing in on the back of Muzz's Toro Rosso. Thomas is catching. Yes, um, so it would seem. We'll jump across to those guys actually first of all. Thomas closing in on Cookie who is himself right behind his teammate. Got a bit of a DRS train going on. Cavey as well is pushing hard, he's closing that gap. And if these three start a proper fight... He's a leaving muzzle. He is, yeah. Muzzle the man who we thought would be the dark horse for the victory tonight, but uh, Cavey looks like he could be on for it as well. Let's ride on board with Thomas through a rouge. Has to ease off through Raddy on those soft tyres and the dirty air. Not helping him at the moment. DRS opens. Look at that. Cookie not good through sector one, look. Drops away. Yeah, and it looks like he could have a move on for Mozart yeah, very soon. He had a little bit more confidence actually just to throw his car up the hill. Titchy's within DRS of Raidcon now. We'll be pushing after the American. Yep, I agree, Varamir. Great drive from Ricky so far. Managing to get himself into the points. Starting at the back, of course, up nine places so far. That's the thing that we know how we know how good Ricky is. Yeah, we do. Uh, much experience in this league. Mm hmm. Whether it is Will or the Pad. Because obviously, the Will do is we... his new little trick. Yeah, do we know if Cookie's on the pad or the wheel tonight? He's on the pad tonight. I think. I'm, I'm not sure. There was some technical difficulties. Yeah, he, his controller died on him earlier on today so he was thinking he might have to race on the wheel which in terms of outright pace isn't necessarily a problem for him it's more the fact that every time he's raced on the wheel this season he's crashed so I'm not quite sure yeah uh, Varamir's nailed it Cookie was saving the RS and now he's going for it four tenths the gap he's going for it he's going for it, he's going for it. DRS is open, here he is, he's popped her out, he's going to go for it on the brakes, 
Great move from Cookie. Rosa doesn't make it difficult. Of course, the team play is still in force as much as the championship is won. There's still two rounds to go. And as long as Rosa doesn't DNF tonight. No, you've cursed it. Well done. No, I haven't oh, cursed it. Back to the back. Here we go. Half right around the outside. Beautiful. The bus stop. Great. Plays around the outside of the bus. Oh, I missed that. But that does that does give Kelsevag DRS, of course, to come back at him. It's a great thing about this tier. There's always battles, no matter where you find them. Yeah. Like 16th, 17th, and 18th. You still find something. Kelsvag, much better, yes. much better drive. Uh. Pulls it out behind Blades. DRS assistance. Nothing the Hass man can do. And Cross Cookie seven, now. Josh. Yeah, Cookie's now pulling away. It's Rosa Box versus Robert Thomas. Mm -hmm. And yes, he is. And Thomas Thomas comes Thomas. in behind him. <laughs> So this oh, will be interesting. This will be interesting. What do these guys go to? The Mercedes guys look like they're getting the medium tyres ready. Indeed they are. There's a gap. There's a gap behind Millsy. Got a lot of guys coming in. They're going to come straight into a gap. The only man who stayed out is Forza Frodo. Uh, oh, Dan Hill's lost him. Blanchemont. He's gone up Blanchemont. Is he... Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, the wing's gone, so he'll be boxing as well. Meanwhile, let's change the graphic. The gap to the leader then, 19 seconds for Rosa at the moment. Oh, Rosa's just had an absolute awful overusion rally on. Dan Hilton lost all control of that car with Thomas the wing damage. The and Turn takes five, it. it yeah, up into next second place then for Thomas. He had, a, he had about two goes, I think, trying to turn in, and it's just like, like, just ride it out. Take the, take the corner cut if you have to. Yeah. Let's uh, so have a look at the gap, 19.5 now. Cookie making those tyres work for him at this late stage, in their stint. Uh, Thomas is... Thomas is inside 19 seconds though, so it could be close on the pit exit if Cookie doesn't stop now. Let's jump across to our race leader, see what he does. I'm sure someone's going to do the whole box now, Cookie box. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Cookie is in. So is Cavey. I think we'll see all of those guys stop now. Ricky and Connell as well. well Muzz is in, Ron Connell's in. Ricky stays out again, but he's got the fresh subs. Good point. Uh, Cookie, Cookie on to mediums. Where are Rosa and Thomas? This is going to be close. Ooh. Coming around the final corner. Rosa Where's Cookie? Cookie's kept there. it. By much, so that advantage has worked no, there. Yeah, he is. DRS is open. Cookie's going to try and defend it, but Thomas is going. DRS assisted. He's going to go around the outside. Cookie will try late on the brakes, but nothing he can do. The Mercedes takes the net lead and needs to push while Cookie's tyres are cold. Exactly the same place. The system Mercedes not having quite as good a day of it. Strange because Paul Fun looked so good for so long for him. Yeah. Um, but we'll see how he goes. I mean, he's. He's just stopped onto mediums. Connell is always quick at the early part of a stint, so might not be as big a issue as it sounds. Uh, KV currently has the fastest lap, one with a 147.5. That I imagine will change quite quickly, especially once uh, Cookie gets himself a clean lap of running. Speaking of which, I was going to get him. 
he's going to be looking at Thomas at the top of our rouge. I, if I'm Cookie, I'm waiting until then. There's no point taking him now. Oh, he's got to be careful, though, because Rosal would then have him as well. Yeah, Thomas is going to have to punch it down the uh, camel straight. Two McLarens are going to use this to charge the batteries, and then they're going to go hell for leather. Give me a second, working this out. Cavey's gain time. Well, uh, Smother goes around the outside. Falls Alfredo. Titchy's out. Titchy's gone. Is that a Radion actually? Yeah, it, is. it is. Yeah, the top of the hill on the right hand side. And I think we might see a the VSC. Virtual safety car is out, and that puts that pays way to Forza Fredo coming back at Mozza. Uh It also stopped the McLarens with their charge on Thomas. I've just noticed Ricky stayed out again. Yeah, but this is helping Ricky. This VSC, this is making that worth it. He'll have been wanting that to be a full safety car, and then he's got a pit stop advantage. Obviously, 19 seconds. He's going to come out. Probably eight or nine. Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna be doing well for himself. Rosa picks up a penalty under the VSC. Yes, that is lazy. Mm, it's it's easy enough to do though, because you're it used to taking corners is. flat out. Mm. You take your usual turning point, usual line. It's just, it's just one of those that's stuck. Really? Stuck yeah. It's going to be interesting on this restart. We've got Mars and Fredo and Rim coming right next to each other. Yeah, Thomas, I think, has used quite a lot of his delta, and Cookie is saving some of his. We're racing again, and Cookie's got a much better restart. We're right on board. We're heading towards Blanchimont. Thomas takes the inside. Cookie tries to swap back. Fredo. uh, Fredo's oh, in the wall. What a surprise. I thought he was going to end in tears. We're staying on board with Cookie. He's going to have a look down the inside of the bus stop. Gets the car stopped in time. Thomas has to go defensive. That will compromise his line through. Give Cookie the drive towards turn one. Cavey's right there. Cavey's had a great race start. Yeah, he has. Thomas defends the inside. Cookie was never going to go for it. He was always going for the recharge. But now, ARS to maximum. Once they get through Eau Rouge. put that car into overtake and indeed Cookie has the DRS will open Thomas is a sitting duck from this point onwards here comes the McLaren he'll dive to the inside has he got enough to no, not quite door in his face. great defending from Thomas though to keep that position Ricky on Raycon that's up the straight I'm not surprised we're on Muzzer this, these two are still going at it mm. Great battle between these two. Been focusing a lot on the battle for first, but some great fights going on further down the field. Cavey's not a good sector one, he's just dropped off a bit. That'll be the DRS train that he's not involved with. That'll be his problem. Um, Raidcon still close to the back of Ricky, having been overtaken, but Ricky's starting to pull away now. It's going to be the battle for 7th, then it's going to be Connell, Sayo, Ricky and Raycon. Mm-hmm. That quartet. Indeed it is. The lead group with KV just about holding... Actually, no, not just holding on. He's closed up again in the middle sector. Two tenths Cookie, away. Cookie and Rosa and Thomas, here we go. Yeah, three-way battle for the on, lead. Rosa's is going to have to settle for keeping position for now. But that's he brought Cavey into it. play. Look at that. Six tenths now. The gap to Cavey. He's right on the back of this group. Not quite got the DRS just yet, but he'll have it down the Kemmel straight. Uh, so that's close. it. That's it. Oh, a rouge. As well. VSC again, and that's going to compromise the McLarens and Cavey in his Ferrari. Steve spun it at a turn between turn 11 and 12. Must be. Yeah. Ooh, that's nasty. Interesting. Uh, he got put in the wall, didn't he, by... Um, Soft tyres. Wow. Okay. He's, he's making a gamble. He's taking a gamble. Well, if he's taking what Ricky's, if what Ricky's done on with those... Uh, Soft tyres at the start, and with a VSC, then 
chance. Yeah, there's always a chance. Part of battle for seventh. Thank you all for staying with us during this race. Top We're top. halfway through. Yeah, Thomas with a great restart. Cookie caught napping a little bit, but he's still in DRS range. Until next year's game comes out, this is the closest the Dutch drivers have to a home race. Thomas will be motivated for this one. I'll tell you what, that group's, that group's now become 5th to 10th now. now. Yeah, Remcon has dropped away from KV who is right on the back of this and will be challenging Rosa actually who is in danger of losing out on DRS to his teammate oh, he'll just have it like, possibly think down the out around the outside no no Ricky's too smart oh. for that double switch back he's got to be careful Raycon's got a great sector throw I'm just yeah he has in fact Ricky's on the outside of Sygate and he's left the door open for Raidcon and Ricky left the door open tried to slam it shut late and Raycon was already there and the American takes P9 meanwhile the battle at the front not going to be enough I don't think for Cookie to take first Rosa will stay third and Cavey's just biding his time in fourth jumping back though to Ricky and Raycon together Sygate defends the inside, Raycon's going to go for it round the outside, little nudge between the two, Ricky sits in deep, Raid takes the place, Ricky tries to squeeze but it's not going to be enough for him, Sygate squeezes well and defends, leaves just enough, time for him to get the car slowed down and block Ricky's undercut. Cookie's got a great run a little bit dodgy camera angle didn't help there Cookie will be trying everything in his little black book of tricks to get past that Mercedes I tell you what he had a great run up to two oh, he's putting the ball outside yeah he's, he's pushing up. hard now actually he's closer to stuff yeah he lost the back end a little bit did Cookie coming out of the final corner before Blanchemont into the bus stop and that's Steve with a full course safety car is out and Thomas and Cookie Just have bolted into the pits in. for soft tyres this will be wow Look. that's a light that was a light call yeah but that means that the guys who've stayed out drive through penalty for Frello on speed on the safety car that might be one of those where it doesn't actually tell you your delta uh, if it is you can of course send that in we'll have a look at it Yeah, and I think has Rosa been caught by the safety car? Is he behind? He is. So those guys at the front now are going to have to stay out. They're going to have to go for it now until the end. Well, <laughs> the problem was for, for Rosa was that he would have had to double stack. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much much that would have lost it. Probably not as much as he thought, but I mean, right I now it would have put him. Yeah. yeah we did sure. and um, and it paid off for him with the late safety car maybe this will pay off for Rosa with another late safety car you never know it, it does mean that the, the two at the back are now in the game yep they are Blades and Kelsevag brought back into play for Zafredo as well but also the good news for Rosa is that it's Kate there and then they still got to get through Maza and Thomas, and Cookie's also got to get past Thomas. You've got medium, it's rather on Thomas. Well, Thomas can now get to the end no matter what. He's dead safe with that strategy. Um, Cookie going on the softs. I, it's That's doable. Not no, it's, it's doable. Not he's got a great no, it isn't. Also some softs and raping with me. Ricky's gone back to softs, uh, so has Sygate, Stumpy, and Fredo, and Blades as well, actually. Well, I think it, it's. it's the soft one, mate, the yeah, yeah. 
And he's probably got a fresh set, because he's not qualified. Yeah, all the other guys will probably have put a lap on them already, so... I would say Ricky's in a very good position. I would agree with you. Ricky's in a good position. If Cookie and Connell have got clean sets, then they're in good positions. If not, I think Thomas is the man who's done the best here. So you're going to have five or six laps of those soft tyres being blisteringly quick, and then it's going to start to drop away, and Thomas will come into his own. I'm not, I won't be surprised if this, if this is going to be the last safety car. Well, we had a safety car and a VSC. Oh. You've got two VSCs and a safety beer. car. Oh, no, no more then. Got my prediction spot on. Mm. No more's allowed. Help, that is a fantastic point. Let me check. Yeah. This is why we take the views of the community. Forza Freddo has stopped for mediums. Right. Put himself at the back. Correct. And I don't know why, because he just stopped for softs. I think that potentially he could have carried on there and winged it. But I suppose now he doesn't have to stop again, even if there is another safety car, so trap position could... Uh, really play a factor for him. Apologies, I just had the team banging down the door. Sorry. Uh, Mazza has got a penalty. Mazza has a penalty. KV, one warning. Thomas, nothing. Cookie hasn't got a penalty. New risk, Connell. Oh, Ray Cobb's going to miss out here. He's got two. Hang on, just seen a person's name up in eighth. Yeah, Millsy's Mills up in eighth. <laughs> he stayed out, gone for trap Stuck position. Under the radar, that one. But that's going to play havoc with some of those guys behind him on the soft side because they've got to get past him and they won't have DRS for a couple of laps. Let's have a look at Ricky. Is Ricky doing one more in the while? Quite a few have got one or two warnings. But it's mainly uh, Mazza, Rosa, and. Uh, Safety car is in this lap. Oh, oh we've got a spinner! And that's Raycon! Moves to the back, Moves to the back of Raycon. I didn't see it. Ooh. I didn't see if anything else caused Moosey to break suddenly. No. Well, let's wait and see then. Let's see when Rosa's gonna go. Luckily, his Raycon's choice. got damage, but mills has got... Yeah, but Raycon's now dropped from, what, P5 yeah. to last. Silver Lonnie, Silver Lonnie, Silver Lonnie, that's what I'm Mm-hmm. And uh, Rosa can go any time he likes. Safety car has entered the pit lane. He's going to die at the last No, no, he's, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. A little bit late, if you ask me. I would have gone before the boss stop, just so you've got a chance to get some ground between you and the cars behind. But what it does mean is that all the guys behind him will be fighting for position and give him a chance to pull away as we go racing again here in Spa. Rosa takes the turn one as the leader with a decent gap to KV. You've got caught on the restart. Uh, Millsies has retired in the pits. Good. Whoa! I've just caught the end of that. Kelsey and Rem Codding side by side. Oh, nice. Classic stuff. I've got Thomas in the chat cheering on KV. And we're nearly at 40 viewers, everybody. Make sure we can. Uh, Follow and then head over to YouTube and subscribe, please, if you haven't already. I know I keep mentioning it, but we're we're really going for this thousand subs. It's as they were then, at the end of the safety car restart. Uh, uh, actually, no, no, yeah, cookies, yeah, and cookies Ooh. managed to get past Connell as well before then.
Thomas is under the cosh. Yeah, he is. Cookie Massive side by side. Heading towards Blanchemont. This could end in tears. Cookie's yeah, gone! Cookie's, Cookie's gone! And, and that's wing damage. And Cookie <laughs> backs out of the way of the other car sensibly. Very well. He's done a good job there, Cookie. And the championship it's pendulum. It's always going to happen. The nature of that corner. And Cookie's going to have to pit that stricken McLaren with wing damage. So you never go for the overtake at Blanchemont. But the championship pendulum now swings back Rosa's way. This is massive. Don't discount Thomas just yet. P4 charging after Mozza. Man really on the move at the moment. Don't discount Cookies. Seven laps to go. We have seen stranger things happen this season. I mean, it's, that's going to be going some. I mean, contest. Uh, I'm going to say it's tier two as well, John. That was carnage. No, you're safety not kidding. Car. Yeah, if we get a late safety car, maybe. But let's not count Ricky out of this yet either. Look at that. Ricky into P5. Yeah. And this is Ricky of old, this is. Ricky used to come in one shot quality. Thank you very much. In fact, Ricky is on the back of Thomas, who's dropped away from Muzzer in that middle sector. Come in, qualify at the back, and then just drive alternative strategy. We'll do something funky, and he's uh, right up in the mix. And here he Pretty is, much. Thomas under pressure from Ricky coming into the final corner, Connell as well in that mix. Picks up a five second penalty oh, for cutting contact. that corner. Who weird, that's, that looks like Renault. a big... Renault and Stumpy. Uh, Stumpy. Yeah, Stumpy's round, puts himself into P12, Forza Freddo is in the pits again. Sargate and Connell are about to go side by side. Hopefully not up a rouge. Uh, oh, for a drive through, of course. Balls of Fredo in for his drive through penalty. Ricky! Could cost him. I'll check the penalty situation in a couple of laps time, but it's And be that's. Yep, Stumpy in the wall. That should be a bit. Oh, full safety, safety car, car is there out. Is. Look up there. I did think that they won. The cookie's back in it again. But now this is going to be what? At least two laps, maybe three. With a safety well, car. Get, it's, it's always going to give you two laps to race at the end. So I think I think this will go until the start of lap 20. So it will be a three lap sprint to the finish. There it is. Oh, five seconds Ooh. for Thomas for colliding with Mazza. And that's damage on the Mercedes car as well. This is all playing into Rosa's hands for the title here. His main rival at the back of the pack at the moment, although we'll be brought back into play with this safety car and then the man Yeah, and then the man who was closest to being able to challenge him for it at the in today's race at least, now with some damage. Let's see if we can spot it as he comes through. Yeah. Right end plate's gone. Question is now if you're one of the front three, do you stop for softs? Personally, I'd say no. Trap position. With everybody bunched up together, it's not worth it. Let's see if anybody wants to do it. Talk Nobody's going for it. Stuff. Yeah, no one's going for it. All going to be a bit dull for a couple of laps while we follow the safety car around. It will pick up Rosa now. Oh, he's left. No, he's disconnected. It's fine. Safety car. He's going to have a chance to get back in. He's 30 sec seconds off the pack. Yeah, but the safety car won't box until all the cars are together. So the AI will take over. It will catch them up. Uh, Alp is asking... What's the penalty yes, situation like for Mozza? Mozza, Mozza, here we go. 
we'll go with our leader. Rosa is one penalty, two wounds. Falls have had a stop for another set of tyres. Um, he'll be going for fastest lap. slap. Mazza is one penalty in two wounds. Fair play. Is a five second time penalty, but that subject probably to review. Ricky's got a penalty and a warning. Sygate has got a penalty and two warnings. Connell, wow, Connell's got three penalties. That's going to Yeah, so he could really do without this. Uh, fastest lap at the moment is Remcon in with a 146.8. Uh, Falls of will be looking to beat it. A five second time penalty, but I don't know if he served it. What lap did he get it on? Uh, he got it on lap 14. 14? Uh, yeah, no, he yes. won't have done then. What did he get it for? Collision or corner cut? I have no idea. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, well, we'll get it. At the uh, we'll be able to find out afterwards. Oh, for exceeding track limits. That'll be at the bus stop then. Safety car will go for another lap. So yeah, the, the real loser is probably Connor. He's got three or two Yeah, that's, yeah. That's not good. Do you know, two spells prediction of blades for P8 might still be on here. He's got three, three seconds, seconds, but. Yeah, but with the penalties of everyone around him, and particularly yeah. Connell having nine seconds, he could still be on for it. We'll see how he goes. He's not called the wizard for nothing. No, the wizard knows all. Right, so, he's joined the back of the queue. Yeah, I don't know if he's back in it yet. So if you your hunch is correct, safety car will come in this lap. Yeah. After three laps of exhilarating. Yeah. Races to Final few laps of action there and Cookie's is. back. He's probably thinking, what on earth has just gone on? Mhm. Mm but he'll be back. He's in. He's in the fight. He might be able to get some points. The thing is, if you're Rosa now, victory would get you to two points behind Cookie, assuming he doesn't score any. So you would take anything in the top three, really, without too much of a fight, I would have thought. If you're thinking about... Yeah. Um, and he's also another warning away. We're looking at it, he probably needs a six second gap somewhere. Two Spell has renewed his subscription with the comment of It's Hakkinen! Oh, Thomas has picked up five, another five seconds for exceeding track limits under the safety car. That's a ten seconds for Thomas to add on at the end of the race. That that will put Blades into P8. That, that, that it would. If it fits like it is, that's done. Blades, P8. Congratulations. Which would be his highest finish? No, I don't think so. I think he's got one higher than that. I can't remember where. Um, but I'm pretty well, sure he has. Race, one of his yes, it would, and it would be good co for him considering he wasn't particularly confident coming into this. As much as I said he was talking a big game early on in the week, it wasn't. It wasn't like he was saying he was going to win or anything like that. Um, safety car is in this lap. Rosa will take control of the field. So just remember, Thomas has got front wing damage and ten and seconds worth of penalties. Most of these guys that appeared onto softs haven't really used them. So the graphic on your left hand side of your screen is a little bit misleading. Yeah. Most of those laps have been behind the safety car of some sort, some kind of. Yep. So Rosa's starting to back the field up now, although he's still pushing on quite a lot actually. The safety car's just coming through the bus stop chicane now. Just entering the pit lane, so Rosa now has full control. He can go when he's ready. And he's left it late, but he's gone. He's bolted. And KV this time much closer behind the McLaren, but the drive is with 
the man in the orange car it's a good turn into La Source kept those tyres nice and warm heads down towards Eau Rouge and Radion meanwhile behind I don't see any changes in position just yet but picks up another penalty at the top of Eau Rouge and Radion Ricky dropped away. Really poor restart from the Welshman. No other changes in position at the moment. Oh, Blades and Raycon going at it. And Blades has lost so that position uh, to Raid. Well, so it's going to get a little bit spicy. Blades will just be looking to make it to the end. He's still on for points. Meanwhile, back at the front, KV, seven tenths now behind Rosa. Our race leader. Penalties at the moment give KV oh, the victory. Yeah, exit a poo on. Yeah, well, he was. Don't do it. Right Don't do it. Oh, good man, he's carrying on. And Connell's. Off possibly, but I don't know. Kelsevar's got past. Yeah, Kelsevar's got through. And this allows Raycon to have a great drive against the Haas. Sorry, loving life because he's now got a two-second gap. Thank you very much. Yeah, he has. And he's closing in on Ricky, actually, as well. He's closing in on Thomas. Thomas yeah. under the cosh. Yeah, those fresh not mediums good. not doing him any favours at the moment. He must have not kept Sigate. them warm. Oh, Sigate, three seconds. And ah. Snack at the two-second gap he's got, and then some. Meanwhile, Rosa, fastest Rosa. lap for Rosa. Great stuff. I think that'll be beaten by the likes of Forza Fredo, though, but we'll wait and see. Cookie's up to 12. Cookie up one position to 12. That's with Remcon in spin. Not going to plan for the champion oh, elect just yet. And Remcon is retired. That's understandable with two laps to go. KV dropping away and Moza dropping away from him. Rosa pushing hard. And he's made Judas contact Kelsa. with the Renault. Oh, Kelsevax round. Oh. Raycon there. Not quite leaving enough space. He's close to touching Connell as well. Don't leave. Don't leave. Come back. That's if I was if I was Kelsevag, I would be incandescent with that. Uh, Ricky right. Thomas. Ricky's, Ricky's got through. Yeah, around the outside Four of Poulon. Great stuff from Ricky. But now Ricky's, Ricky's on for a podium, I think. If penalties go his way. For Zafredo's managed to get past. Bla no, Blades has got past for Zafredo with the fastest middle sector of anybody so far. Great stuff from Blades. Ricky's got a penalty. Oh, not quite then. Rosa, though, is charging away from the field. Two laps to run. In fact, no, this DRS. is the final lap. Yeah, final DRS lap for Rosa. He's outside of hey, DRS now. range. This is it. Punch it now, lad. Punch it and give it everything you've got. A podium is still on the cards. The race so win might not be. Feeling the pressure. I think Ross is going to be clear if he can get to the uh, get to the chicane at the end of the Camel Straight. He should be good, barring any mistakes. Red con on Connell. Red con on Connell. That's going to be Fredo on Blades. Both passes going to get overtaken. Red cons through. Here comes Fredo. Blades is going to try and hold it round the outside. Not going to have enough juice though. But He's Blades is mighty one. in the middle sector on those tyres, so let's wait and see if he can make a move again. He, He's got one chance. Yep, yeah, into the bus stop, unless Fredo makes a mistake. The only other battle potentially is between the two Mercedes. Thomas really struggling. Sygate pushing him all the way. Practically in the gearbox as they go through Puan together. And he's going to make a move, I think. No. Uh, and... Oh, Blades is round. No, no so Blades. Blades and Cookie, Blades I think, out. came together. Oh. 
then let through. That's really unfortunate for, for Blaze. He was on for some good points there. To the bus stop for the final time. And it's going to be Rosa through the bus stop. There's a penalty to apply, but he will cross the line in first place. But it's KV that will win oh, the Belgian Grand Prix. Ray Connors retired. So Blaze is still on for points. Blaze is still going to get Stop points. Blaze. So is Cookie. This, where is Cookie going to finish up? Here we go. KV wins the race. Rosa in second. Mozza third. Ricky fourth. Great try from him. Sygate fifth. Blaze gets two points. Yeah, the death. Kelsevag will come across in 11th and might jump Fredo as well with penalties. I doubt oh, it. No. Oh, he oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Kelsevag gets the final points. So. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's a dodgy looking accident at the end, but I'm not saying anything else. So get your prediction, get your votes rather in for driver of the day into the chat and we'll I still can't believe cooking blades got points and they took the they had to come around in six and two. Yeah. And that's just the magic of racing. The magic of tier three. Mm -hmm. An exciting and fitting race to mark tier three's fiftieth Grand Prix. And we couldn't have a nicer trio on the podium. KV takes victory then with the Wizard Award to match. Uh, with Rosa close behind having finished first on track. His three second time penalty proving the difference today. But that's still 18 points to take towards his championship challenge. Mozza comes across in P3, the dark horse for victory. But uh, his three second penalty stops him jumping into second place. Ricky in P4. Great drive from him having started last uh, on the grid to get himself into fourth place. Fantastic job. Sygate in P5. Great job from him. Managed to get past his teammate at the end. So the battle between the Mercedes going in favour of Sygate. Right, so let's. You see, this is what I have you here for. You know what I. Don't, you, you know what I forget to look at. Don't worry about it. So, we'll. Uh, if you bear with us one moment, we'll get the top three in for some interviews. Keep getting your votes in for driver of the day. Yeah, Matt likes to do his maths. So we want KV, Rosa, and Mozza. And as has become customary with Tier 3, the winner's car will be on screen for the interviews. And it's not a McLaren. Mm. Blimey! It's a Ferrari, which oh, even worse. that's the first time this season. Boys. Here he is, Mozza P3. How are we doing? I said I'll see you on the other side. You did indeed. You did indeed. And it's nice to be here again. Hey. Hey there, oh, KV mate. KV, performance and half lad. How's the ticker? <laughs> I'm still shaking now just in P3, I don't know how fucking KV feels. Oh, we'll let KV compose himself then. Mozza will start oh, with yeah. you. Yeah. He's, he's here. <laughs> we'll give him we'll give him a minute. I think he needs one. Yeah. So go on, Mozza will start with you then, mate. Uh, great job, P3, another podium for you. Yeah. Um I I'm rubbish at Spa, so I'm probably buzzing with it to be fair. Like, just didn't expect to get on the podium at all. I was just happy with a points finish today. Fair enough. Yeah, great job then. Uh, how annoyed are you that the, uh, that the that penalty stopped you getting second place? 
Oh, nah, look, at the end of the day, it happens. I, like I said, I'm happy just to be on the podium. I'm buzzing to be on the podium, so it's, it is what it is. Um, I am, yeah. I don't mind. Like I said, I had a good battle with Rencom for a while. Um, and obviously, again, safety car came out, stayed out, and it's paid off. So. Yeah, safety car proving the difference again this week. So. I keep on coming out for all I like. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Will are good at the moment. Yeah. So, great job. Congratulations again on P3. Hopefully we'll see you again Cheers, next mate. week in Brazil. You will indeed. You will indeed. Ethan! Hey. <laughs> I that's love saying that now. Hey. I know you. What gives that away? <laughs> so, that penalty though. Uh, it's it's my own fault. I left. I did the opposite to Hungary by not practicing, and obviously you, you, you can tell the difference. But they are. I I was just like I I, I knew I was going to get at least two penalties. I thought so. But yeah, they're all, they were all pretty silly as well, to be fair. Um, but yeah. It's yeah. so, alright, I think I've reached some comps for that, so don't worry. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How long is this more? Sorry, Don't you worry. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, 18 points though in your battle against Cookie. Takes the gap down to. Uh, where did you finish? P8, Matt, today? Yeah. So, so yeah. three points. So. Was it 27 before the start? Yeah, so it's yeah. now down to 12 points. Five, five, five for eight. 26 points was the gap because Rosa got fast. No, no Ricky, Ricky stole it on the last yeah. lap. Who stole it? Who was Ricky. it? Ricky stole it on the last lap behind me. Is the only thing I had left good going for me? 25. <laughs> so yeah, 20, it's a 21 point swing at 27, so he's got a 6 point lead. Oh, it's all opening back up. Hang on, is it? Mm. Yeah, it's 27 like a... points at the start. Yeah. Oh, I can't do my mash. It, it's it's 12 points, I, I think, mate. Oh, I forgot you got had the penalty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Allow it. <laughs> Try not to make him feel bad. I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, so 12 points I think now is the gap with two rounds to go, so it's all hotting up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Spa out of the three as well was by far my, my most scared as well. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't looking forward to it. I did one practice with KV earlier in the week when he was with Mitch. And after watching that, I knew he had serious pace anyway. And I, fair play to the man as well, he drove a perfect race. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 he actually, actually did. did. It's, it's actually it's hard, it's hard to say anything else other than bravo because this was awesome. I, I can I second that. I mean, to be able to be so consistent around Spa for 22 laps under pressure and fight it, I yeah, that's up to him. That unreal performance. Yeah. New new teammate, new teammate. Oi oi. <laughs> oh I, yeah, you two teammates for next season. So but yeah, be... unfortunately, I was posing a Merc though, so it's not all safe. So it's not all singing, but. Take what you get. Just <laughs> <laughs> keep on writing it off. Nah, well done, Kagan, mate. Yeah. Let's move on then to our race winner. Oh. For the first oh. time. Oh. <laughs> it's Kagan! <Kevin! laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> hey, you're coming, go you're coming good at the right time. Yeah, man, I'm uh, whoa. <laughs> My arms are hurting. These <laughs> type of races when I end up in pies, I wait till it gets quiet. Honestly, my body's just. My arms are hurting, I can't feel my knees. Brown, obviously, using the air pedals. But, um, wow, what a race. Oh, mate, I'm unbelievable, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I hope we can go all the way Oh, I'm sorry. So we've had a second opinion, Blake says it's a brilliant race. Okay. Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, um, I don't want to. No, it was a really good race, man. Um, congrats to Rosa and Rosa. It was, yeah, like, it was like they said, it, it, like Spa is, I love the track, but when you're under pressure and you're just constantly uh, just looking to 
you know, not make any mistakes. It's like, after the race, like your head just hurts. I've got a headache. <laughs> but, uh, it was a great race, man. Um, I, I did. I nearly lost it on the last lap, to be fair, uh, down the Kemmel Street. I had a bit of a moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a heart and mouth moment. Of all places on the street. <laughs> yeah, under braking, but nah. Like oh. I said, man, uh, as well, I thought the safety cars ruined spanners in the works because I genuinely thought that Thompson could be the uh, master of the field, but obviously it wasn't the case. And then when the second safety car came, I thought, I didn't think they'd be able to have the tyres to catch up with, you know, it was free, so, um, dude. But no, that's a great race. Yeah, well, great stuff. And I think, given that it is your first win and you got the Wizard Award, I think the general consensus is that you got Driver of the Day as well tonight. Easily. So yeah. easily. Well done, mate. Great job. So Have that's <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, old Rouge, old Rouge was so scary when the tyres were like worn though and you got someone behind you and it's like, oh, if you man. let off, you need to let off because you don't want to risk it but if you do, you know you're just going to get done on the straight and it's like, Wait, nah. I spent the whole last lap looking behind me at KV to keep it open. He just didn't put one foot wrong, even, even when he was chasing me the first five, six laps, he was just all over me and I was like, Jesus, where's this guy fit? Uh, and uh, I just put, uh, say old Rouge is just a nightmare on one time. I think, yeah. I want to go to the toilet after this. Oh no, no, no. Good Yeah, well done, lads. Yeah, nice job, you three. We'll round off there then for the evening. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you all again next week when we will be in Brazil. But if you can't wait until then, make sure you tune in for Tears. 2 and AM1 on Tuesday and Thursday respectively and tune in on Wednesday night as well where we'll be doing something fun something different in place of Tier 1 who uh, have got an early break for their uh, post season um, so keep an eye out for that and if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see from us make sure you get in touch with us on Twitter with the, with uh, our app being at cos underscore F1 We'll see you all then. So thank you very much again for watching. See you all next week. Good night.